Village of North Second. Bennington Board of Trustees meeting to order. Um, we have a full slate uh, this month. Thank you everybody for coming. I've uh, been absent the last couple times. I apologize for that. Um, uh, we, I'd, I'd just like to start today uh, recognizing um, uh, September 11th and start with a minute of silence for the victims and families of 9-11. We will uh, forever honor those who lost their lives that dark day. Thank you very much. Um, we we did hear um, we did have a wonderful event here in North Bennington on Sunday, and uh, Matthew was involved in planning for that. Uh, I think to the degree that maybe you could speak to it and talk to us, talk to us a little. I wasn't able to attend any of the work. Those people did it all. Um, <laughs> Me, but. Uh, the committee uh, that put forth, uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to miss somebody if I... Um, well, the, there was co-chairs, right, of Sandra Magson and then... Um, Magson. Yeah. Mag Salmon. And... Um, Amy Anselmo, um, Jenny from the library. From Powers. We got more Abby, Abby from Powers. They were the. Yeah. Hmm. I think they were kind of the. They held a lot of meetings because I saw, the, you know, but it was always at noon. And, yep. um, but they they put it together and it was, it was uh, they're saying over 300 people mm -hmm. showed up. Yes. I would like to have seen more from some of the outlying areas. We had a, they had a, um, a map set up with people pinpointing where they live. They also had sign-in so they could actually see total numbers of people coming in, but then the pinpoint was, you know, where on the map do you live? Um, incredible spread of food. The firemen did the, uh, the hot dogs and hamburgers, and people brought dishes. Uh, you know, um, our, our guys set up the tent. We're very kind to donate their time to set up the, the tent so that it could be around. Thank time. you. That I will say that tent has become a um, a really great asset to the community. You didn't want me to get that. I don't know that I ever said that. <laughs> yeah. There might have been some other things, but I, but no, it's really has. It's 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 benefited the Vermont Arts Exchange. It's benefited the garden parties, the the Park McCullough, Lake Perrin. I think you've been up there before with it. Um, it really has been very helpful. It really was a great collaboration of all, uh, essentially all of our entities. I know that they they thanked quite a few organizations and individuals at, at the event, and um, I think some of that was recorded. So you know, they um, put out a compilation of the drone that was. Yeah, the video just they just put uh, David Beach, um, son of Pat Gibbons, um, Michael. Uh, Michael, thank you. David's a much better father, right? Um, and it's a great uh, overview while the while the uh, farm to ballet was going on. And, uh, you get incredible views of the Park McCullough House and all that. So check that out. That's on YouTube. Yeah. Accessible to anybody. That would be nice. <laughs> That's cool. Um, oh, cool. That's great. But yeah, a big success. I think that 
we got to keep at it, get more people involved. Um, just, you know, it was so neat to see people walking, you know, just coming from everywhere mm -hmm. to, mm -hmm. and the Vermont Arts Exchange at the art bus there, and they were doing all kinds of stuff with the kids, and so. so. Yeah, that's really nice. Uh, and so I guess to get started with the regular business t uh, today, we'd like to review and approve the minutes for the August 7th meeting. Did everybody receive a copy of the mm -hmm. minutes? Uh, any, any questions or additions to the minutes? Uh, any objection to those minutes being approved? I will make a motion to approve the minutes of Tuesday, August 7, 2018. I'll second it. Uh, all those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Abstain. Um, Two abstentions. Yeah, I abstain as well since I wasn't there. Don't know if it's right or not. <laughs> I'm assuming it is. <laughs> um, and so that carries uh, unanimously with the two abstentions. And we move to the review of the warrant and improvement, approve, approving of the payment of the bills. So that there was a couple additions. So did we get the, um, did everybody? I think in the last, so last one, one this morning, what was what was the last one you added this the morning? The final one added Arrowwood. Okay, so it's in that final email, 161416. Correct. It's for the lake. Um, the bottom. Bottom? Okay. And so you oh, have the old, yeah. is it there? Yeah. So, okay, so yeah. it's small. Okay, so it's, you have 637. Uh, 6374051. Okay. I do have a question, uh, and I... What is the Reynolds and Sun? For twenty nine thousand. Yeah. Uh -huh. Those are the path air packs for the oh. fire with the new cameras and the new beds. Uh, okay. Got it. And Mir Mirabito is the Kelly old Fuels. Kelly Fuels, yeah. yeah. So and I, I can speak a little bit to the um, uh, Reynolds, the, the, the fire pack. I did have a discussion with Chief Myers about that expense. Um, it's obviously a safety um, issue and needs to be incurred. We need to purchase that equipment to make sure that everybody has the same level of safety when they go into a fire. However, um, I think something that's reasonable to go hand in hand with that is we did discuss um, making sure that there's an inventory. If we have a lot of really expensive equipment, it's important to have an inventory and make sure that, um, you know, not only for the fire department's benefit that things get replaced, but we also have an idea of value and um, that uh, if something were to uh, be missing or, or damaged for insurance purposes, I think it would be important to have an inventory. So we're going we're gonna to work on that. Uh, so, I, if yeah, any other questions about expenses on the work? Yes, one more. Uh, Norm, uh, what what concrete work did Keith Canyon do? Over, over here on the side, the blacktop sidewalk, we made a new entrance. That's something that you would, well, Jeff negotiated. Oh, okay. And then he did uh, three panels down by the um, by the old campfire building. We had one of them that was undermining into a DI. So we, before they paved and everything, we knocked them out. We knocked them out and fixed that problem and then pulled them out. Nice. <coughs> for, uh, for 480? Or was there more than one cost there? It just, the, the expense looks like $480. Was it more than that? Seems like, seems like that was more. Uh, Ten is, it's 210, I think. There were, wasn't it? No, 480. 480. It just, that seems reasonable. Exactly, yeah, that's my point. Yeah. My point oh, yeah. was that yeah. that seems like a very reasonable cost for all that work, so. Right. 
Did, oh, that's it, did you think it was more or less? It says labor for sidewalks. Yeah. Two ten. So and material. I have no idea. I knew it was two ten. And material. No material. We no. take we take the material or something. Then how did that? Well, I'm happen? glad I asked. No we'll have to review that check. Okay. Well, we just made some money. <laughs> I think. I have another question. Um, Error is not a problem. The uniform cost. How often do we pay that? Um, we pay it once a month, but it will build once a week. Is that what you are, are we you talking about? G and K. Ben's, 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 Ben's uniform. Oh, that's oh. fire department. Yeah. Oh. oh. That's a that's for a purchase of new. New. Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't believe we've actually used that vendor before, so. Yeah. It's I, not something that comes up right. often. Yep. Well, in light of that, with that one question about the, um, and I'm. With the uh, check number one six nine seven eight, uh, I would make a motion to accept the warrant. Second. So, uh, just a little further discussion there mm -hmm. is: um, should we approve the the warrant as written and then? Well, at, just and take, ask that um, there's four hundred. Just remove four hundred seventy dollars, two hundred seventy dollars from it. Okay. Okay. So look we'll at that total. Just going to prove the total. Two hundred seventy one. Two hundred seventy one. Two hundred seventy one. Two hundred seventy one. So what are we removing? She said how much out of six forty seven four zero point five. So I got sixty three four seven two fifty one. Two seventy one. Sixty three four seventy fifty one. I got sixty three four sixty nine fifty one. Yeah. Same. You said it was one extra dollar. Two seventy. Two seventy. That was two seventy one. So that's the difference. Was it 270 or 271? 270. 270. 270. 270. 210. So you're removing 270. Gotcha. So is mine right? Yes. Okay, so the correct total would be, so let's do this all again. I'll make a motion to approve the warrant for 67,470 and 51 cents. Second. Wait, 67? 63. No, 67. 60, what you said. 63,470 63, 63, and 51 yes. 470. Right. Gotcha. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Enter. <laughs> move on. Apologize for that. Um, we don't have any, I'm assuming we have no citizen comments. Although I guess um, we do have a letter. Uh, we, we need payroll. payroll. We need payroll. Oh, okay, sorry. Mm -hmm. I'll make a motion to approve the September payroll. Is there a second? Second. Mm. Any questions on the motion? All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Mm -hmm. so I've got copies of the size. I'll start moving those around. We ran out of white. <laughs> okay. Some questions have answers. <laughs> uh, there was a letter from a concerned citizen about a an aggressive dog in the Lions Park, and um, the the response from law enforcement was that if there isn't a sign, then they can't 
there's nothing for them to enforce. So um, I think I think we should definitely consider a sign there, not necessarily no dogs, but that a dog needs to be on a leash. And I think that that mm -hmm. is we have a curb. Did you dogs check? Well, we have it there's near the other park, but there's a. Ordinance. We have a leash law in effect. And, and it, it's at the entrance of the village, right? Yeah, so there's a leash law in effect. I, I'll check the sign. I don't know if we have anything about it. I think it the references sign? the full village. Mm -hmm. But if. Um, but why not? So I know you love signs, Norm, mm -hmm. but maybe a little sign somewhere that just so that you we can. You tell me what sign you want on it and I'll get it from Huh? You tell me what you want from it on it and I'll get it from it. Um, all dogs in park must must be on a leash. Right. I think that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I and mean, that's just mm -hmm. stating what the. Or if there's something more is. generic, all dogs must be leashed. That you can find. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> um. Okay, and let's see. I just want to see if I have any other requests for comment. Did was there any discussion about the um, zoning administrator last meeting? I I pointed out that um, that Dennis was stepping down as of January. Okay. Um, and certainly we're looking for someone who wants to take on this job. It's a, it's a paid position by the hour for the work that you do. It's probably, I really don't know, you know, it's probably, how many hours a month? He's, of oh, the last two months, he did six and a half hours. Now, Dennis is very detailed in yes. the reports that he sends in. Um, and so there's, I would say there's a fair number of phone calls that he lists but he does not charge for. Right. So I couldn't say that that is, that is the sum total of the time he puts in. Yeah, yeah, definitely He not. also does mailings and does um, filings for, for um, but it, yeah, it is that recording. He that yeah. 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 Um, so. But if someone would be interested in looking into that, um, It'd be worth actually contacting Dennis McCarthy because he could help you. He's really the consummate. I mean, he he does it right, and uh, he could help train you to uh, to do the work. It's like I said, it's not. Um, I I would expect ten ten hours a month would be more than. There are there have been some months right. that he's had a few more than that. When there are GRP meetings and things. Yes, the last two months were both on the six months. In fact, I ran into him today in the post office and spoke about some issues that he's going to deal with. And, um, but we really do need somebody. Yeah. yeah. So, and, you know, and if anybody can think of anybody mm -hmm. to suggest, that'd be great. Mm -hmm. um, there, there is a lot of, uh, well, I'll, I'll get to that in the highway. Um, any other citizen comments anybody's aware of? We, we spoke a little bit before the meeting about trying to deal with uh, a problem rooster, um, but um, I think that's something that, you know, essentially a committee or, or that can be dealt with outside of a formal meeting process. Yes. That... Yeah, because I mean, there's some legwork that would have to be done ahead of time to find out exactly where we stand on that, so I'd be happy to try to take that. Okay. But, so just to be clear, so my understanding is there's been report, there's been complaints made to the Bennington Police Department about yes. said rooster. And they have addressed the complaint in the past and recently there's been a change in that, so we're trying to get to the bottom of why there was a change, and I was explaining why there was a change. <clears throat> now we've just got to find the paperwork to back it up and so, resubmit the paperwork to make sure that we can get them back on that. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. Um, treasurer's report? 
So previously, I sent to you um, copies of where we stand with uh, with respect to our cash balances. The business I'd like to address tonight is um, let's just show you an analysis of what we will need to do to set our municipal tax rates. Um, we can either take uh, five minutes and do this now, if you wanted to conduct other business and do it at the end of the meeting, it's up to you. I just need probably five, ten minutes to go through the analysis. Um, so we do it now. But, well, I think yeah. either way, I mean, if, if he, would, would you be staying to the end of the meeting regardless, or? I am here regardless. I just didn't get, know if you, well, I guess you we don't have any the public, but I know Norm sometimes. Yeah, we can get a, highway done and you issue. can head out, Norm, if you're... At town tomorrow. Okay, <laughs> so let's skip to highway real quick and then we can move back to... So this month we've been concentrating on our sidewalk on Holton Street. It's, uh, we're, right now we're at the mercy of the weather and one more contractor to come in and grind the road where it get broken up. Uh, hopefully that will happen within the next two weeks. Hopefully we'll be able to topsoil. Uh, we've used the rain this last day, this, this week, and the cooler weather to come out and start roadside mowing again. Uh, I've been in the shop starting our winter maintenance, which is a pretty significant amount for us. Uh, to get done, we start early, we get done early. We have our dreaded leave season coming up pretty soon. Uh, which is a real pain in the butt for us. So it ends the first week in November period. That's the end of it. it starts when they start falling in October. Uh, other than that, that's pretty much about it. You know, the sidewalk when it's planned, we've done some, uh, you know, done a couple little pieces of sidewalk improvements around. Uh, can't really say much about the painting. I know. I've talked to the contractor several times. They have a deadline by the state in October. I want to think it's October 15th, but it might be a little longer. You know, so there's nothing we can do about these things. Uh, the railroad crossing was a quite event for them, but they pushed it over and they got it done. They paid Sunday night as they promised. So everything we asked, they did. They had an officer here. It's unfortunate, Mr. Carrington. Would have, uh, should have planned a trip with his wife, he said, because he didn't get much sleep with all the noise in the air, you know, but, uh, but it got through it, so there's pretty much, you know, we're getting ready for winter, that's a big deal for us, and people are staking uh, the opportunity to come by the shop and take a look at it, you'll see so, how hard it is. Yeah. This, so the, the paving project, though, just to reiterate, is a, is a state project, so if there's any concern with that, um, I'm sure they're available for complaints, and that is not something that we have any control over, so um, if, if As any, is true with the railroad right. project. But if any of those, um, you know, obstructions become an issue for cars, or if... Um, we have a mailbox we got. Yeah, or knocked, in, knocked into uh, and the resident came and I gave her the uh, I gave her the contact information that I had. That's you know that's pretty much the best way to do. It's a down match project for us, so we're just here sitting here for the ride like everybody else. Yeah. Um, our project that we do have a match was completed this weekend, and I'm sure a lot of that was timing because uh, the contractor got there and finished before they paved the road, he didn't have to repave the road, so yeah. that's why they hurried up and got that done. So we should be start seeing an invoice from that. This building, I saw an email uh, yesterday, I believe they're gonna start around the 24th. So the roof will be hopefully put on the next building, so right. that'll, be, that'll be a good thing, and then we'll decide if we wanna fix the inside or, or what we're gonna do. Great. Has that gotten any worse? The, the inside damage. Yeah, and getting worse with that target off. Now, the, the contractor that got the bid said that he was going to send somebody up to throw a couple nails in the, in the tarp. Uh, but I haven't seen that happen. Who was the. Doxy Roofing? Doxy Roofing got the bid. Yeah, we got we an invoice for that. We just paid a bill tonight. For 500 bucks. 
Oh, that's probably it. Yeah. Sounds about right. Uh, it did so, come through my desk, so. So the, um, the, and the projects that you mentioned just, I don't know, I mean, maybe nobody ever watches this, but so the, the culvert project on Water Street yes. uh, by, um, by Weaver, uh, the, the contractor was Weaver, and um, we've worked with them before, and it's to improve the, um, it's to repair that culvert and also improve the water flow coming down there so that it's not carrying a bunch of debris down into the culvert and cause it, causing it to plug so that we have the whole, whole water street flooded and arranged. Are they done with that? <coughs> yes. And have you, no. have you inspected it? I mean, do you feel? Yeah, I've looked at it. I've called the state guy. Okay. Again, those are, they all got to bless it. They look so good they, to me. They don't, if they don't bless it, we don't, yeah. we don't get paid. If they don't bless it, Craig doesn't get paid. Uh, but the uh, river guy yeah. was with him all that Saturday when he worked, so everything was hunky-dory. We had to build a trash rack for it, but that was always we were going to do it because it was an improvement and it didn't count. Um, You're going to just so weld something up? Yeah, so we'll do that. Um, and, and then the other one that we were talking about is the, the, this uh, building, the roof is in terrible condition, leaking in several places, and so we've gotten a grant to re do the, the roof and so and that came through the contractor did we, were, we had some problems with contractors bidding on it but finally did get a, um, a a good bid to complete the project that was within our budget so we're um, it's, that's it's a matching grant we are paying a percentage of that one but um, we, we're getting a significant match it's taking four years to get that to get to this point we knew we knew it needed to be done when things were still when the roof was okay and then it wasn't okay anymore yeah. so we just fax the paperwork back from the water street color yeah and there should be a pretty good check coming from the first disaster response okay and uh, they added it all off in the state homes with that great so that's that's it more than cover our match. That's the kind of work, so. All right, well, thank you very much, and oh, uh, I would just like to say about the leaves, if um, it really is a, you know, the village, unlike many other uh, communities, take this on, much to Norm's uh, uh, dissatisfaction, but he does it because we think it's, um, a worthy service for the community um, but if you have anything particular about how you want those leaves put up on the road when it's going to stop when it's done it's done because the stuff comes off the truck and then you're stuck with your leaves so how do you want them put well, what what's what should happen with the leaves is they should be in one pile not one long pile one pile Reasonable, right? We get it if you have 15 elm trees, you know what I mean? But one pile covered with a tire, if it's going to rain, or the wind's going to blow, or if we've had snow, and uh, put on the, as close to the roadside as you can. Now, there's a couple houses, uh, Mrs. Novak, who's passed away now, will back into her driveway because there's really nowhere to go and there's traffic. There's a few uh, very senior people that we we make a couple special considerations. If you're 35 and three kids, you're getting a registry. Or now I'm driving right by. But you do not want them in the drainage of the street. We do not want them in the street. That is and correct. so, if you only have two feet between your sidewalk and the street, would you prefer them on the house side of the sidewalk? I prefer you to make a phone call and we'll make an appointment to pick them up. Okay. And that, those are instances where we, we people rake them to the corner of their driveway and we back into their driveway and then we we'll pick them up. Okay. The problem is we have people that make big messes and they put a pile here, a little pile there, a little pile here. I'm not there to rake your lawn. I'm not going to do it. We don't do it. And the phone number they can call, Norm? 442-7474. And it ends the first full <clears throat> in November. 
So let's just, in the past, there's been some some interpretational disagreements about that. So let's just get a date on uh, what we're talking about. <laughs> no, um, he needs to know when he got to get his leave. Yeah, well, <laughs> no, I want everybody to <laughs> do it. So. <laughs> I don't do it. <laughs> um, so November, uh, do you mean? Uh, Rebecca leaves leaves up on Mondays and Tuesdays for residents. In October. Okay, November. November. So you're done on the night, the first full week of November, the Saturday, the Friday is the ninth. Yes. But the Tuesday is the sixth. The Tuesday is the sixth. Tuesday, we're actually done on the sixth. But when did it starts in? When it starts, starts, fall. Fall. starts in October. leaves fall through the yep. ninth. Yep. Six. Six. Six, really. Sorry. Usually the second week in October, you know, we can. Okay. That's fine. But, uh, you know, it's, it's just the way, uh, you know, the way our vacation schedule runs, uh, the way Thanksgiving is, and the way the month falls, you know, late, late pickup is on the 6th. Um, okay. And that's it, because on the 9th, I leave for vacation, and I hear those two days to clean up our stuff, and, and that's it. So we prefer people to get it out early and often mm -hmm. and wait for the big, after all the leaves drop. Is that you know, oh, 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 so you're great. you're totally okay with someone taking it into two or three bites as long as in the I smaller bites on the same property, okay. right? Absolutely prefer. Yep. We prefer taking the dumb themselves. Right. Well, <laughs> there's that too. Yeah. And we also would uh, for the people who want to clean up the leaves themselves, we can provide we can uh, schedule an appointment to uh, make sure the bone yard's open so they have a place to dump them locally. Uh, in bags? The are doing No, 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 oh, no okay. bags. You bring your bags, you don't pump your bags. Yourself. Oh, you're sick. Okay. Uh, but, uh, so, anyway, so you can do them on other days. We, we have always picked up for the residents on Monday, Tuesday. That gives the residents on the weekend to, yep. to deal with their leaves. And then, because we have the rest of the, we have 16 acres of parks that we have to deal with, plus everything else that they have. And what doesn't make us happy is then there being the late people with the piles in the in the drainage of the streets with the heavy November rains or whatever, and then clogging the, the drop inlets. That's not that's not cool. All right. Okay. And I just had one thing while we're on highway. Yep. I just I actually mentioned it to Matthew the other day. Um, the parking area behind Pollens Station is that considered municipal parking? Is it privately owned? Um, the reason I'm asking if it's municipal parking, are we responsible for things that are there? Because right now it's become a de facto dump. There's like four tires in there. There are people throwing. It's not their, a, it's not a who owns it? Right. So I, I want to say it's Safe City. When I, I in fact, one of the benefits of doing my pin at the thing on Sunday you looked at was I kind of looked at the map and it looks like it's it's a continuous lot that the station is on. So I, I believe it's the syndicate that owns it. Um, so then I guess it would just be a matter of finding out how do we best um, deal with that. Talk to the lady. Send them an email. And tell and and tell them they need to deal with the situation. Maybe they want to deed that section over to the village for parking. We need parking. No. Why not? Because we have to go through a private lot to get to our parking lot. It's not. It's not. Then we fight about who plows and oh. this and that. Yeah. It's not. Well, they could deed that to, to the street. Otherwise, they need to be held accountable for doing the, the cleanup on that. Yeah. So who? David wants. Is he the head of the? Is he the? He's not the head. I know he's the head of that. Yeah. Okay. okay. Bob Adam, David Mox, uh, Joe McGovern. I'll send an email. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Sorry. I've taken care of all the small things that end up over into my yard. <laughs> you know, unfortunately, we talk about you know you talk about trash. This is probably a great segue for our flight the lake pair. You know, next year we're taking the trash cans out of there. We're not putting them there anymore. 
because no, no one uses them. They're household garbage. I picked up a half furnace the other day. They were done. That's the fishing access. I had a conversation with the Oh, the back side. The back side. They're, they're kind of like, <laughs> I'm glad I don't have to go with it. <laughs> you got it, Al. You're going to have it. They own it. They're, they're gone. Uh, we're not, and we're going to go through this season. And come fall, they're going, and I'm not put, taking our trash cans out there. I'm yeah, no, and that would be an actual surprise. Uh, it's household garbage. It's it's bags of you know people's groceries in there. You know the furnace was the that was the kicker. That was deer the carcasses coming up here soon, and huh? deer. Yeah, we always get those, but yeah. they're more by the train tracks at downtown. Yeah, but uh, you know, <laughs> so. Yeah, I was over there and the garbage can was full and there was just stuff everywhere yeah. around it. Mm -hmm. You know, this is a spring and it was uh, um, uh, somebody who was from Manchester, one of the officers. And, uh, and he kind of didn't say it like really mean spirited, but it, it's, we're done. You know what I mean? He made no attempt to, to contact us and talk to us. Um, you know, he did that one day, you know, to deal with like to, to solve the trash problem. It's not, you know, it's too bad. We plow it, we do a lot of things for that access because mm -hmm. I think it helps the residents. But it's not the residents that are dumping that stuff. No. It's, well, it's, said, Mark has raised that um, dynamic, or however you want to put it, dynamic before, which is do you put a trash can or not? Because when you do, sometimes you end up just collecting a bunch of garbage, and when you don't, yeah. Then that. magically, there isn't that much garbage there. <laughs> you know, you yeah, pick up a little bit of garbage. We don't. We rarely. Pick That's up what I was thinking of. Yeah. You yeah. know, the deer park in Bennington, they did the same thing. Yeah. They took the trash cans out. You bring, bring whatever treasure in. You can bring whatever treasure home. You know, we get it over here. We can do that. The uh, skateboard park where people dump their household garbage, and I'm sure it's somebody from Hall Street. And mm. walks over and sticks it in the bag. Well, you got cameras now. <laughs> might, be, sure. might be a deterrent. Mm. The mean dog was a deterrent, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it, any other comments on highway? You're welcome to stay for the rest of the meeting if you want, or you're free to go. <laughs> Um, <coughs> I Norm, uh, Houghton Street, Houghton Street really, that was a, that was a big project. It was one that really wasn't on the docket originally, you know, it kind of evolved, but it, it, it looks amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. Again, you know, we had our, our, uh, two interns, our young, uh, lad Carson Morgan and then Max Maxer, and then obviously, if you saw Big A, came in and you know, volunteered to help. I mean, Louis Brown was there too. I mean, that's a big project for us, 400 feet of curb. And people ask, who did that? We did. Like, yeah. Really? You know, I know it's slow and it's got to the end, but like you said, we got this crosswalk that goes right over the church into that laning where they park handicapped cars. And we'll get a crosswalk painted. We do have some painting to do. We were trying to wait till after all the paving because all the trucks drag all the asphalt over everything. You know, a lot of the crosswalks that we have to paint will be painted in this project, but there's a couple of houses and up on Prospect Street that need to be done. The state's going to take care of all the painting in the. In the yes, state. but like yeah. painting is mm -hmm. to the park. But you know the truck, the asphalt trucks drive around and they they, they blacken them all up. So yep. that's why we kind of we're holding off this year. But we'll let Any reason to wait till the spring? I mean, we can wait till the spring. Just depending on. Yeah, some of them they need to be to get through the rest of the year. Yeah. I need to go. Go home, <laughs> please. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. All right, and I don't think we have any. DRB or fire department or I have a, board, so. a DRB issue. I was, I was speaking with um, Dennis McCarthy today, and, and this is a an issue that has <coughs> been lingering for a long time. But there were conditional approval of various um, permits for the Water Street um, development, 
and it appears that none of them have been um, done as of yet. So he's going to be looking into that a little further. And we, as a board, we were stipulated. It was stipulated by the DRB that we needed to approve the proposed solution to a couple of issues. Uh, and I, to my recollection, uh, that has not been brought to our attention by the owner of the property. One is a crosswalk on uh, Water Street to connect uh, people who live there over to the sidewalk on the other side. Mm -hmm. One is a lighting, um, some lower 12 foot, you know, uh, parking lot, LED lighting uh, to make that parking lot safer because it's a vast parking lot. Mm -hmm. Currently, so the only thing that really has happened is that we have facilitated the power company putting another, adding an LED to the pole on the street side, but not where it was stipulated by the DRB. I mean, it was a, it was the first step. Um, and then the fire department, I know, is very concerned about a map that fully uh, delineates the uh, location and capacities um, and and region of use within the building of the uh, propane tanks um, that are buried in various places around the project. So and a dry hydrant and a dry hydrant was another one. So uh, I think it's important that and 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 I thank Dennis for for following up on that, but we're going to have to do it that pretty quick and make sure that gets done. DRB has a meeting at the end of the month, so we can work on it then. Okay. But is it our side of things? Well, uh, we'll see what Dennis, see what the zoning administrator does with contacting uh, in the, the owner and then uh, ultimately there might need to be some, some action by the DRB to notify in a legal manner the, the owner that these things haven't been done yet, which would then uh, get him to come to us so that we can say we're, you know, we're okay with that or not. I mean, I, I think I would just, I would request that the DRB continue to keep us informed as to the, the status proceedings that. that they're taking or the, the, the you know, process that they're looking at just because um, you know typically that's that's not a concern you approve variances and do different things um, that the board can be generally aware of but if you're going to enter anything more significant or there's a significant dispute that um, we would just want to be aware of it not that we have I mean I think Definitely. if there was an appeal we would have ultimate uh, authority but um, we'd want to see that coming and not be surprised by right. it. And that's all I have with that. In addition, uh, we will be meeting, the planning commission will be meeting tomorrow, finally, um, with our new <coughs> single new member of uh, the planning commission. We are only a body of three at this point. Um, we need to be five and so we really are looking for uh, people who would want to be on the planning commission. Not a lot happens with the planning commission except like now where we're approving a new five-year plan. But the DR, the uh, BCRC has done all the work on this. It's a grant. They do all the work. They add in all the uh, statutory changes from the state level that need to occur. They bring that to us. We discuss it. Other things we talked about were some energy uh, placement concerns with, uh, you know, whether it's solar or wind or things like that. And they're going to incorporate all that. But we can't act as a body with, uh, we can act as three as long as we all agree. Um, but it would be better to have a couple new members if we can think of anybody. Um, we will be probably looking at that, hopefully approving the changes that the BCRC has made and then putting that forth to the to the trustees for, I guess, next month's meeting. Um, and I don't know what the warning proceedings or regarding town plan changes. 
Um, oh, so so Catherine should have that. Okay. Um, because she she's been back and forth with me, and I've given her some information. Okay. Um, if not, just right. ask me, and I can give okay. it to you again. Okay. You're meeting. She's coming tomorrow. Too, yes. Right? And uh, Jim may as well. Um, and then really, it's Bob Howe, myself, and uh, Chris Damon, the new the new member. Um, so. Becky Manning was interested in joining the DRB when we had an opening for that, so she might be interested in joining the planning. Um, Marjorie Manning's daughter. Oh yes. Um, would you want to reach out to her and ask if she? Yeah. That'd be great. Again, it's mostly more big picture stuff, thinking about how we might want to look at zoning issues. And actually, there will be, um, there is, well, you have, let's see, who was it that was looking, um, the school is actually wanting to address a, a, a possible zoning change. Mm -hmm. I'm not really sure who, who and how and how to approach that, but. Um, the planning commission is the one that sets up those. Um, That's all of our. It is. But area. Okay. We'll proceed. <laughs> um, I don't. I don't have anything other than what we already mentioned for the fire department. I know the the water board is looking to um, finish. They, there's a, there is a meeting for anybody that wants to attend tomorrow at eleven at the. Uh, the movie theater office or whatever, if someone mm -hmm. wanted to try to make that um, just an informational meeting to see what the status of the North Bennington side of the water extension project is. Uh, it, I believe it's very close to uh, completion. I think they've, you know, what they consider substantial completion may have already occurred, but then there's like a punch list of Seems like they're going in and doing little changes here and there around, around the area. So if there are areas of concern for anybody, you know, if the grass isn't growing in somewhere or if, you know, the, the pavement wasn't correct or something, then um, those issues need to be brought up or else we're going to probably waive the ability to do them, unless there's some significant problem, that, a, a latent problem, like if the problem occurs over the winter with a frost heave or something like that, then we, there's a one year warranty, quote unquote, on the work, so um, it's not exactly a, a warranty. And the status of the water bond, what do we know about that? Uh, so the, the, that, um, there's a massive amount of paperwork associated with that. The, there, the bond was approved by the state, um, and I think that may have been discussed the last meeting, or was the num were the numbers thrown out there at the last meeting, or no? Vaguely, if. if. Um, so I would. I, mean, we'll just I would have next year. I'll, or something. I'll have to look at the exact numbers, but in essence, in essence, we've been given $500,000, which is a ton of money. Okay. And Towards even, the even, if you, even if you stretch it out over the life of a 30 year bond, but it wasn't as good of a deal as we were hoping for in terms of the, mm -hmm. you know, the rate and the, um, and the forget, you know, the, uh, on a $2.7 million total 500,000 isn't, you know, 40%, which we were hoping for, but apparently, you know, in, in discussing this with the representative of the USDA, um, I, you know, that was, that, that's just not a reasonable expectation in, this, in these times. And um, so we got a significant grant mm -hmm. for a project that is necessary for our village. So. It's going to proceed, and um, uh, it'll be on on a bond. and And they and the USDA, uh, the purpose of these project of these programs that provide funding is to make sure that people take care of infrastructure issues, 
and they and they actually do calculations to see how much people's bills go up and stuff and and our um, and our average water bills are still going to be lower than the state average so it, you, there probably will be an, a, an inc a, a modest or small mm -hmm. increase in the water bills, but it's not going to be huge. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to be similar to what you've experienced historically. Well, and like you said, the, the previous bond, if you retire, I assume, so, and that's going to sort of balance out. To, and we're going to end up with, with a system that saves a lot of water because right now the system and is I don't want to be telling people that it's just going to be one for the other because I think no, it will I think more. it will be a little more but it's it's not going to be so much more that all of a sudden we're even at state average or over state average we're still going to be still going to close best water in the state okay so um, if if some I don't know who's jurisdiction this might be but I I did have one other comment that was raised to me which is that um, Dr. Avery Wood's office who's on the corner of um, school, school and Frank uh, um, Street yeah is so so the village school is basically using the whole the whole road for parking during the school hours and she's having difficulty especially with some patients that have trouble walking, getting into her offices there. Um, so, and she just asked, you know, it actually wasn't really a complaint, but it was just kind of making me, alerting me to that. And I don't think, you know, obviously as, a, as an office, you, you know, if you provide a parking lot, then you can designate a, a, a disabled parking spot or something like that. But I don't, I don't think that that office has uh, who, street who parking other than the private two parking spaces. It's parents, I think. Is it mostly parents' cars? Is it like parents' or, or staff off. parking? Or is that so it's kind of him and this parking? That's yeah. Yeah. Down is it all day? I Because that could almost be addressed day. if it's, so if, it, if, if there are people that are working there, you can and just ask them to not try not to park there, obviously. So it's parents going in, that shouldn't be long-term parking anyway. It there's people, be. there's tenants in the Masonic Temple now too, and they don't have a driveway. Right. So well, they're also parking there. They, they don't so have... <laughs> I think it's just... They're supposed to have a driveway and a parking space. Well, they there. don't, and he is parking his truck. That's good and stuff. two, right in front of Avery's on the okay. side. Right. So maybe there is a parking issue that the village can do something about. We can't. We can't designate that street parking for the, for her office. Of course not. And but we can she already the does the things necessary. You know, obviously anybody working in that building should be parking daytime in the bank parking lot or wherever it's also allowed to park, particularly potentially behind the, the laundromat. Yeah, the, yeah, which is kind of. Um, but uh, she should probably be designating their actual park, the two parking spaces that are part of that building, or at least the one on the right, for those individuals that need, you know, as a handicapped parking spot. But additionally, I'm, I'm tired of these houses or projects or whatever that aren't... Um, the Masonic Temple was granted, as I understand, a curb cut uh, between the bank and, um, or no, the next, a very narrow... I think that the only problem with that is, though, I mean, I have a driveway and parking, and if I choose to park on the street, I can park on the street. Yeah. So whether you have a driveway or not, or have been given access to a driveway, we can't police who parks in a legal legally parks in a legal spot. That's true. So I mean, we, we don't have we don't have any right to say, you know, you shouldn't be parking there because if he's parked legally in a legal parking spot, we don't determine anybody to park anywhere specifically. Well yeah. other than overnight parking in the winter for plowing. So I would have a hard time approaching somebody to say, well we prefer you didn't park there because there's a Yeah, it almost seems like an internal situation where where the business needs to approach if yeah. there is a habitual Say hey, you know, can we work something out here? Yep. Um, so long as the, so, so long as they're within the parking regulations or ordinances of the town. 
Right. If he's, if he's over onto the crosswalk or, or Oh yeah, exactly. I don't think that's what we're talking about. We're talking about just kind of an inconvenience of right. wanting those spots for, for business, which I understand completely, but I mean, we, we just don't have, we don't have the right to tell anybody who's parking anywhere illegally not to park. I mean, that business was, was rented knowing that there was no parking. Except, in fact, at the time, it was one spot because the other side was occupied. Mm -hmm. I mean, there is an ordinance on that. There is an ordinance on the street, though I think it's at the other end, I guess. There's a parking only, like there's a no parking zone on the other side. But a no parking zone will help parks. them because they're looking for parking. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so if, it's, if he's yeah. violating a no parking zone, then they, they can't park there either. Parking. That's right. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for entertaining that issue for a minute. Um, how about yeah. we jump back to okay. our... Okay. So take one of these if you could, please. Um, Lori, I don't have an extra, but if we don't have any change, I'll give you this copy so you can have it for the notes. So what you have here in this packet is going to be an analysis of the municipal tax rates for, the, for this year. In, uh, the second page of that, which I'm just going to explain what's in here first, is a history of the tax rates and the changes in the last few years. And then the last couple of pages are the expense and revenue report for the fiscal year just ended and budget, because those numbers are what um, is necessary on page one of the analysis. Um, to, to calculate what we need for the various tax rates. A couple of questions that I have. Um, the, um, when we're looking at the amount to be raised by taxes, the expenses are directly from, which is the top section, are directly from the approved budget, the one that was approved by voters back in our annual meeting. The revenues are also the uh, income that was either included in that budget or um, reasonably assumed to the revenue, um, plus or minus any fund balance, uh, negative is a negative fund balance. So we had spoken, if you look at your last page, your, or actually the second to the last page, flip over under the highway section, fiscal year ended 2018 on the highway maintenance line. That line item ended up where we did not spend $45,000, $45,307. We had discussed previously that that money was going to be carried over because of things such as the sidewalk and other projects. So when we're looking at the expenses then, back on the, the first page, that highlighted 45,300 is also highlighted as 45,000 on, on that um, other. Uh, other funding. So my question is, um, are there any other type of projects, thinking of specifically of for perhaps the roof? The other thing that I had given you for this detour oh, roof, if we look at what we have left on our um, depot, we have just under 33000 left in our depot renovation fund. I don't know because I was not able to attend the meeting where this roof was done, but are we going to out of pocket have more than $33,000? Yes. Yep. Okay. So we may want to you're saying out of pocket total or at some point or or have to pay not including reimbursed not out what, of pocket what is our means that we will not be reimbursed for it. It's not I don't the only know grant that. funds. I think it's more than thirty. I don't know. I'm not what sure. What was the final that. number on that? Was it one twenty? The sentence that's the number that kind of sticks in my head. I don't yeah, I don't Close know what that. that I can't remember. Exactly. Well, so 
the real issue there is whether or not we can legally use that money from the highway for repair of the. Um, no, the highway money is used for the highway. Right. So what I'm suggesting is, do we need to add to our expenses, thus raise money in the the tax bills that are coming out next Tuesday? Um, do we need to include additional sums to cover what otherwise will be a shortfall at the end of the current? And those numbers would all be still within the voted budget? No. This is what you as trustees can now say, all right, we're looking at what we need to raise for taxes. We know, just like you can authorize an additional contingency to be raised in taxes, even though it's not that that little $1,000 contingency that was voted in the budget. So if, if we know of expenditures that must be done, That's you, we either raise them this year or we wait and they're shortfall and they're mm -hmm. funded next year. So I'm suggesting if we know Mm -hmm. that we're going to have to spend more than the $30,000 that we have on the roof, let's put it in. But then on top of that, what's yes. what have we already spent, you know, in the design and the engineering and all that? Because that is, we're part, our responsibility is a percentage of all that. Yeah. Looks like 93000 is roughly the, the, um, the, the, bid. the bid for the roof. Okay. In which case, what we have in the budget would satisfy the Are we 80%? Is it? Yeah. Is it I think it's 80. Actually? Yeah. And then what went into it prior this to is, that? This is what I, there's oh, we've already covered. We've this already covered. Right. This is what we have left. I think it was yeah. ready to go. So we've already paid for you all the You said it was 90 what? 93, 93,732. Oh. And we yeah. have to cover, yeah, so we have to cover eighteen, nineteen thousand dollars of that. Yeah. If it's twenty percent. Okay. Now there's a whole heck of a lot more that this building right. needs, but I'm I'm not comfortable. I don't think we'd do that in raising taxes now. No, I I'm, I'm, I'm not comfortable with making any because, changes because, to yeah, it. Because that's not it. But those things aren't approved projects. The roof already is. Yes, yeah. I get your point. Right. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So it sounds so like the short answer question to your question is no, no, no. We're okay with the roof. We're okay with let's, the Let's that. deal with what other shortfalls we might end up with okay. uh, in the next, in the okay. new budget. The, uh, the only other known shortfall that we, that I believe we are going to have is up to $8,000 shortfall in the fire department. Because of the tanks. Because of the tanks. Again, not interest. Yeah. We don't know because other than this year that just ended, all the other, the, the other, the previous three years that where I've been involved, they never spent all their money. So they might not this year. Right. right. But if they did everything else, there was going to be. Well, no. I think I think we're looking at a really good budget that was yeah. voted on. We're looking at some pretty nice. Um, yeah. Bottom line numbers in terms of. Um, decreases in the rate? The, well, the the, um, rate? No. the the highway rate is essentially no change from last year. The general um, uh, tax, the general funds of the village will be up a penny. The fire department rate, which is the tiniest of all, is up just under three cents. And at, because the homestead rate for the education taxes is down so much because of those one-time monies uh -huh. that supposedly are around. Mm -hmm. um, that pretty much offsets um, uh, the increase from the municipal rate. Gotcha. So the municipal rate will go up four mm -hmm. cents. Um, the Education rate will goes down, down eight cents. Eight cents. So there's a net four cents. Now again, when you apply the rate, because your, you know, your your uh, education rate is more, most people will see, I think, a a, a decent little decrease in their yeah. property tax. Mm -hmm. Well, not sure that would would happen next year, but next year is next year. Next year is next year. 
Uh, there is a trend, though, that I, yes. that I think is worth looking at. It's yes. been good in our favor for the last three years. And so. there certainly is a trend with the trustees um, uh, maintaining municipal tax rates to arguably, I would say, possibly artificially, but not artificially, but very low uh, increases. Yeah. Keeping in mind that we had a few, we had a few years there that were a little, right. little, but heavy. There aren't, there aren't, um, there aren't uh, large reserves for other projects. That's right. But that said, every project is so scrutinized that um, so they're not likely to be wasteful spending. So you're looking then, if we uh, have decided not to make any changes, you're looking at a um, for us to approve a tax rate of uh, a a municipal tax rate of 0.7329, a local share of 0.0027. The local share then covers the difference that um, veterans, the veterans properties yeah. are are aren't, aren't assessed. Yeah. Aren't assessed. Um, that would be point, uh, 4.3 cents less than last year's rate and 6% less than last year's rate. Well, I'm all for that. I would make a motion to approve that tax rate. Is it this plus this? No? Yep. So it's 0.75. Five, and these are listed six. on these these rates are listed separately on, on the individual tax bills. So every tax bill will show um, the seven, municipal three, and will show the local actually it shows all five, all four six, of these numbers. Six. That said, tax three, bills are going to be generated on Monday the seventeenth. They will all be in the mail on the eighteenth. Bennington's are already out. Five, six, yeah. Uh, for people who don't know, North Bennington has to wait because we have to merge with yeah. Shaftesbury and Bennington and then the programmer collects it all and takes up. So those bills will be in the mail by the end of next they week? They should be. They, I hope to have them all in the, all in the mail by Tuesday. Okay. We follow the tax due date for Bennington, which is extra time for people this year. So it's Tuesday, November 13th. Um, the days that I'll be here to collect taxes in person will be posted in the newspaper around the building. They're also, Lori, um, put them in our uh, uh, annual book. So anybody who's got an annual book, they're all listed in there. And, uh, and I guess with regards to taxes, the only other thing I want to comment is that we are down to one significant property that owes taxes to North, to North Bennington. Fantastic. Owes taxes. Um, <clears throat> we are undertaking um, uh, some legal uh, action uh, combining with the town of Bennington on that, and it is my fervent hope that that gets resolved before it needs to go any further. Excellent. As always, thank you so much, Mary. So, not that we have to have this approved, but if you wouldn't mind taking keep I think your we copy, should. if you would just go ahead and sign this, and Lori will okay. we, we have Do we, we not vote? Do we not vote on this? Yeah, you need to vote you, on yes. yeah. So, I did entertain a motion at a time. I voted. There was a motion. I will second the motion. To set the rate at 0.7356. Yeah. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries unanimously. Thank you. Uh, any other? Um, Other treasure or budget issues other than that? Okay. Um, any any new business or 
her old business that we haven't discussed already? I've got one that would fit under old business, I guess. Yeah. So after all the <laughs> headaches of trying to get approved for the um, soil to be moved from the project down on 67 to the park, we lost that um, because they found a more attractive site. Um, but I was then contacted. Did you oh, send yeah. that on yeah, to me? Yeah, I did. So next year they have the water project on Mechanic Street. That mm. kind of falls into the same just because it's within the village. Any spoils they have from there have to be kept in the village. Mm -hmm. So that is actually soil that would be a hundred yards <laughs> from the park. So we would assume yeah. that it would be appropriate to do that. And because we've had we've done everything prior to get the other approved, where we are now kind of an attractive site for that. So there's in losing one, we may end up with a better option anyway because it's a little less controversial. It's basically moving it from the border of the park will into it the be, park. Will it be enough? Will there, there, that's, I haven't even, in fact, I've been waiting to be contacted and haven't been. They I know we're a ways away. Person. Yep, and the last, the last bit I did see was the Mike, I think it was Mike, Darn. from, yep, from the 67 project sent what he believed was the potential volume okay. to the person who's now, and I apologize for not knowing the name, it was in an email, but... Is it Craig? It, I, I, it's, yeah. The name is gone. <laughs> um, so he did send that information to them, so I'm just kind of waiting. Okay. I was waiting for them to contact me, and I think now I'll, I've waited long enough, and I'll contact them just to see if it's still... Yeah. Um, but he did say that, you know, it was obviously a, an approved... I had an attractive site because of the location and There's no given that we've already gone through. this year. Though. No, that would be next year. That's next year. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, that, that project doesn't go through until next year. Correct. Yeah. So that would be now we're looking This is our next. water projects project. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So no. it's not a PFOA project. Right. This is our project for upgrading our system. In, in, the, in the effect that it serves the village to provide a better recreational uh, mm -hmm. facility um, and if the conditions are uh, the same as we discussed regarding the, the site being... If the numbers are what they are, it's actually better than the option because the further away from the contamination site... Yeah. The less, so this is, this is soil that would, within reason, right. measure out exactly the same as right. what we're... So it wouldn't be changing the soil at all in the park. Actually, because it's, a lot of it sits under pavement, it probably is significant. So, yeah. anyway, uh, I'll, I'll have more. I just haven't got, I, I just know that it's kind of in the works, and... Tentatively, I think we all agree that would be a good idea. Yeah. And we'll just wait and see what they... Yeah. And like I said, we've got time, because nothing's going to happen until next summer. Mm -hmm. Or next spring, maybe at the earliest. I'm not sure if they've scheduled a start date for that project or not. No. So, I in fact, that we haven't. We haven't got all the paperwork on the bottom, so they can So, anyway, I will keep you informed, but hopefully, <laughs> hopefully that'll go through, because that would certainly. Great. And then I was just looking at our numbers in our park reserve, and I think I can probably get that really moving forward in terms of getting baseball involved, match some of our funds with their funds, get that leveled out, and maybe get the CDC involved in upgrading some of the structures that are there and actually by the end of next summer have it oh, really That's even ahead exciting. of where I thought we would be if we had done it this year. So maybe it all happened for the for the right reasons. You know, and I don't know if you recall but we, we did discuss at one point too um, Norm said that he would he could ditch that side to and try to keep cars and remove, yeah, we, uh, remove the uh, split rail fence. Mm -hmm. Yeah try to get a better way from keeping Cars from being able to go in there. Because yeah. um, all they do is just take the split rail off, just drive right up. Well, it's, it's not it's, enough. They don't even take it off, it's missing from when they're yeah, they relaxing it. Yeah. I think a 10 foot trench is a good idea. <laughs> so, yeah. With a mullet. Yep. <laughs> yeah, Gotta have a mullet. Mullet. So, yeah, there are a few different ideas on how to do it, and I think part of it would be I mean, obviously, we were bring Norm in and say, long term maintenance, yeah. what's going to be the easiest for you to work around? Because I know putting boulders up is great, it doesn't look bad, but it adds hours to now you're re-whacking around every single thing. So I, we'll certainly pick his brain on the best way to 
keep the cars out of there. I'm going to be sitting up there. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So um, I think just to close, um, I would like to acknowledge and appreciate the many ways that the village is diverse and welcoming to people of all backgrounds. I noticed that on Sunday at this event that we had, and I think that that's one of our great strengths, and I'd like to try to continue to honor that tradition. I think it's, you know, goes all the way back to, you know, the Shirley Jackson and the Wellings and McCullough and what, you know, all the way back. But um, I think that we can honor that tradition by looking at ways that we can continue to do better at that. Um, it's it's just something that's really great about North Bennington, I think. So yeah, we can always do better. <laughs> uh, so and I think we do have um, a, an issue for executive session on um, on contracts. I'll make a motion that we can't discuss it. Okay, I'll make a motion to go to executive session for the contract talk. I'll second. Okay, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Thank you. Mm-hmm.